What if the only thing that can make the singularity a reality isn't AI itself, but your own brain? Excuse me, sir. Yes. But what would happen if, for some reason, we ignore somebody unlocked 100% of the cerebral capacity? 100%? Yes. I have no idea. Futurist Ray Kurzweil argues that to keep up with super-intelligent machines, and to finally answer humanity's biggest questions, we must reverse-engineer our own minds. Well, he doesn't just theorize it. He claims that it's happening within the next 20 years. We can't understand ourselves if we don't understand how our brains work. And our identity, our consciousness, the concept of free will, is closely associated with the brain. One of the key points and, and arguments I make in Singularity is Near, in chapter four actually, is that we will complete the reverse engineering of the human brain within 20 years. That includes our emotional intelligence. Why reverse engineer the brain? We are living in an era of artificial intelligence. However, today's smartest AI is still like a child who can read everything but understand nothing. With an average weight of only 1,400 grams, it has virtually unlimited storage capacity. This is the human brain, the only machine in the world that can think, feel, reason, and create ideas independently. Inside a human brain, there's about 100 billion neurons. And each one of them can connect to 10,000 others. And from these connections comes everything. everything. Some of that technology is aimed at replicating the brain that created it. Artificial intelligence, or AI. But has it even come close to what these babies can do? These are the reasons why understanding the brain is the most important project of our time. Scientists believe that once we decode the brain, it will open the door to endless possibilities. Now, can you imagine where the biggest impact will be? On AI itself. Think about it, achieving AGI is impossible without understanding how human thinking works. And once we fully study the brain, it will make true artificial general intelligence a reality. This is also the only way to ensure that super intelligent AI machines align with our values and emotions. AI will understand us only when it thinks like us and truly comprehends our emotions. However, these are not the only benefits of decoding the brain. According to Kurzweil, it will also help us cure various brain-related diseases and disorders. Imagine a world without Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or epilepsy. Gone forever. We might even find a way to treat one of the most alarming mental health conditions, depression. Uh, I quote one of the pioneers of the neural implant for Parkinson's disease as saying we're now treating the brain as circuitry, not as a chemical soup, which drugs like SSRI drugs just treat it like a, a soup of chemicals. Uh, it is, in fact, a, an elaborate network, and if we actually understand how that network works, uh, we can do a much better job of overcoming problems and limitations, and for that matter, we're all limited. And it doesn't end there. Kurzweil predicts, by the 2040s, AI will be a billion times more intelligent than humans. This raises an important question. How will it feel to live in an AI-dominated world? Kurzweil suggests that, by then, the only way for humans to stay relevant will be to merge with AI. However, to do that, we first need to understand the brain at the deepest level. Once we achieve that, we won't just enhance intelligence, we could also attain digital immortality by uploading our minds into machines. But wait before listing more advantages of decoding the brain, let's first find the answer to this question. Can we really do it? Some people believe the brain is too mysterious to model. Is that really true? Kurzweil completely rejects this idea. He argues that there's no magic in the brain. It's just a complex machine. In the human brain, it's not something magical that's off to the side. In fact, it's the most complicated, impressive thing we do. Being funny, getting the joke, expressing a loving sentiment. Those are very complex, intelligent behaviors. And that's something we're going to also learn about as we reverse engineer the human brain. And he's not alone. Many scientists agree. There's no reason to believe the brain cannot be modeled and simulated. 
However, if the brain is just a machine, why haven't we cracked its code yet? Kurzweil explains this in The Singularity is Near. Unlike computers, the brain isn't neat and organized. It's messy, full of random details, constantly rewiring itself, and filled with imperfections. However, here's the key. In his other book, How to Create a Mind, he introduced the pattern recognition theory of mind. According to this theory, the brain doesn't rely on rigid logic. Instead, it operates through patterns, complex but predictable neuron firings, similar to circuits. Take the neocortex, the part of the brain responsible for thinking, problem solving, and even self-awareness. It makes up 80% of the brain and is a master at recognizing and predicting patterns. There's actually now a unified theory of the neocortex that's uh, pretty interesting, explaining uh, how that works, there's a little pattern recognizer in the neocortex that recognizes patterns. And it's repeated a billion times and it's organized in these hierarchies. And that same pattern recognizer, it's the same kind of module, uh, recognizes, let's say, something as simple as the crossbar and a capital A on the one hand, or irony between a, you know, a, two situations. So, if we can decode these mechanisms, we might just be able to replicate them, building AI that truly thinks like us. Sounds impossible? Well, here's something surprising. We've already started. Brain scanning and modeling techniques are advancing faster than ever. If we look at these old graphs from Kurzweil's book, we can clearly see how brain scanning technologies were already progressing back then. And that was in 2005. Imagine where we are now. By 2005, researchers had successfully modeled the cerebellum, the part of the brain that controls balance, movement, and posture. They had also begun simulating auditory regions, showing how the brain processes sounds coming from our ears. And guess what? Scientists even uncovered how the brain sees the world. This picture shows seven of the 12 movies our eyes extract from a scene before sending it to the brain. Instead of just taking a single image, our vision breaks reality into separate moving parts, tracking motion, edges, colors, and depth all at once. And remember, new breakthroughs in brain simulation, AI modeling, and neural decoding are taking us closer to the one goal, singularity. And that's exactly what we'll explore in the next chapter. The GNR Trinity now, if brain studies aren't going to take centuries, how will we decode it so quickly? Ray Kurzweil explains that during the first half of the 21st century, three powerful technologies will explode together. The three great overlapping revolutions. Uh, sometimes it goes by the letter GNR. G for genetics is the first technology. It's all about decoding and modifying our DNA. Once we fully understand the human genome, we won't just unlock the code of life, we'll also map out how the brain's 100 billion neurons are built and wired. Then comes N, nanotechnology. And this is where things get even more exciting. Imagine microscopic robots, small enough to swim inside our bodies, scanning every neuron and connection. Kurzweil predicts that these nanobots will have two game-changing roles. First, they will connect directly to our neurons forming a seamless link between our minds and artificial intelligence. Second, they will repair damaged cells and slow down aging, making it possible for humans to live significantly longer, or maybe even indefinitely. However, the real revolution happens with the third technology, R, for robotics. Once we have used genetics and nanobots to fully decode the brain, we will be able to recreate its intelligence in machines. This means having robots that can think, reason, and make decisions just like humans, or perhaps even better than humans. So, are you ready? 